So we're going to find the cell potential for this cell. You could draw the cell if you felt like it. You have extra time, you have fun. But we're just going to just go straight to the cell potential. So what I want to do is write down the half reactions. Let's do it the easy way. Okay? I have iron going to iron 2 plus. Let's say you want to be brainless, which most of us do. You just look here. Here's the half reaction. Okay, already balanced for you. So I'm just going to copy this down straight from the table. We've got iron, solid, going to iron, 2 plus, aqueous, plus 2 electrons. I'm also going to copy down the number, the voltage that goes with it. It's the E squiggly. The E squiggly for the top reaction is, I'll take a look at this. What is it? Yeah, notice if you look it up here, here's the reaction. If you look it up here, it's negative 0 0.440. But I flipped the reaction, so now it's positive. So I'm going to write down the positive answer because I wrote the reaction backwards <coughs> from what is listed. So this is now an oxidation potential. So now I forgot what I said. 0.44. Okay, there we go. And that's in volts. Now let's write the other one. Manganese oxide, it's really a manganese 7 oxide, I think, goes to manganese 2 plus. Let's find that one and not have to think. Ah, here it is. Right there. I'm just going to copy this reaction down and, and totally be brainless about it, which is a lot of fun. Okay. So, uh, copying this down, it's MnO4, and you can balance this at home if you want more practice balancing. H, uh, oh, 8, it's 8H eight plus, plus 5 electrons, uh, goes to Mn2 plus, plus 4H2O. Isn't that so much easier than previous classes? You just write it down. Now, I need the number that goes along with it. I need the potential, and it's right here, 1.51. Am I going to put a positive or negative? Positive, because I did not flip it. Okay, now, if I add these reactions, I'm going to get this overall reaction up top. Uh, this part you'd have to do yourself if you wanted to, so you can find the overall reaction if you want. I don't want to, but you can. That's totally fine. I want to find the cell potential. Well, the overall cell potential, <coughs> potential, E squiggly, is equal to the sum of these numbers. Okay? The sum of those numbers. <coughs> There's E squiggly. The cell potential, we're done. Yes? Okay, her question is, if you have to find this overall reaction, do you add the water and all that stuff? No, because it's already done for you. All you would do is uh, get rid of the electrons. So there's two here and five down here. So multiply the top by five and the bottom by two. And then add it up. That's how you get the overall reaction. So you're, by using this table to write down the reaction, you're skipping those four steps of balancing. The adding the water, adding the H+, plus, adding the electrons, it's already done for you. Um, so you just add those two reactions up. Yes? Okay, does it matter which one you have first, or listed first, in this here? Uh, so I'm going to answer that two ways. That's great. That's where I was going. Um, if you do it the way I just did it, you just add those numbers, and if you flip the reaction, you flip the sign. So I flipped the sign of the top one because I flipped the reaction. After that, you just add it, and that's it. Sometimes these will be negative numbers, sometimes positive. There is another way that the book shows you and that your lab manual shows you, which I think will utterly confuse you. 
And that has a special formula, like uh, E standard reduction potential minus E standard oxidation potential equals overall potential. If you like the reaction, that equation, it's fine. But I think it'll usually confuse you. So what I'd always recommend, ignore that section of the book. If you flip the reaction, flip the sign, and then add the two numbers up, and you're done. So just stick with that. Flip the reaction, flip the sign, and then add these numbers up, and, and you'll have your answer. And you should be fine. And ignore the ridiculous formula given in your textbook. 